So welcome back to the second episode of Fatal. And yes, I know this episode had to be up a couple of days ago, but um, every time I try to go into a game, either this happened, the screen stays blank, and yes, I am actually recording right now. The screen stays actually blank when I go into a game and nothing happens. Or when I do find my opponent, uh, it gives me a little awaiting time to see his team, and then I simply get kicked off Ultimate Team, get disconnected off the servers, and have to go and uh, be looking for another game. Very, very great servers, EA. I'm totally proud of you. But previously, I did ask you which option you guys wanted me to add into the team. Option A with Tavis and Inform Lichtensteiner, or option B with Vidal and Palacio. And yeah, let's be quite honest. Option A dominated option B. So with a little snap to the fingers, we do add Inform Lichtensteiner and Tavis into our squad. I am really happy to have Tavis in my squad because not only he's a really good player, I also found a really interesting video of Tavis. Let me just stop talking and have a look yourself. <laughs> Good old Tavis man, what a legend. Anyways, this is uh, the first team we are going to be coming up against in our first game in this episode. It is a very nice team with Garrett Bill, Benzema and so on and so on. And I'm going to be showing you why people call me the Dribble King. Because I do find Luis Muriel, I basically keep hold of the ball till I find an opportunity to take a shot and do convert the shot into a goal to make it 1-0 to myself. And uh, we're going to be uh, going on with scoring because we are going to be finding Luis Muriel again Who's going to make a very nice dribble yet again The guy is a really awesome silver player to be fair I'm not sure if, uh, if I'm uh, if I'm going to be upgrading him really soon But uh, yeah, he does convert uh, the shot into another goal to make it 2-0 And we do find Luis Muriel yet again here to make an amazing dribble I see Pogba in the middle, I gave him a pass and the ball goes in to make it 3-0 And I was like, hey, why can I not celebrate? So we're looking back into the replay and flip there he is, Sergio Busquets, apparently he did score an own goal, he hit the ball into his own net to make it 3-0 to me and that is exactly how this game will be ending as well. A 3-0 victory, um, it wasn't very convincing to be fair, this guy was a really good player but I was defending quite well and he didn't convert any shots into goals but uh, yeah I am really happy with the, with the result because we have 105k in the bank already and let's jump into game number 2 straight away. So our second opponent is a full 1-2-1-2 Serie A team, very similar to mine, but he has the one and only Dumbia behind there, the most overpowered striker in the game. But we will be getting a really early chance because we we do have Tevez, and he sees Coma making the run, so he gives the pass, Coma takes the shot, and boom, it is 1-0 already in the third minute. A very nice early lead. Then we will be extending the lead to 2 0 because Muriel does find Pogba. Pogba finds Muriel yet again with a true pass, and Muriel does convert the shot into a goal to make it 2 0. It is Pogba his first ever assist in 4 games, but hey, I'll take it because it is another 50k to the bank. Surprisingly, surprisingly enough, after we do find my center defensive mid coming 1 1 with the goal goalkeeper who has 60 pace. But uh, yeah, he does convert his shot to make it 3-0. And last but not least, we do find Luis Muriel very, very, very early into the game, to be fair, to make it 4-0. And then my opponent pretty much decides to rage quit. So we do have a 4-0 victory with two assists from Paul Pogba, which is 100k. A rage quit at uh, 50k, which means we will be ending this episode with over... Well, not with over, with 395,000 coins, which means we will be having uh, lots of coins to upgrade, but uh, as I said before, there's not really that, ch that much of a choice. I mean, yes, Pogba is in the Serie A league, but the Serie A doesn't offer that many uh, big players, so I'm going to be giving you two options. Option A will be the hybrid route, and option B will be in the Serie A one. So option A will be Frank Ribéry with uh, Alaba. As my upgrades, obviously the left back one, not the informed center back one. And option B will be Quadrado with Vidal. Um, I'm going to be putting the comments in the comment section down below. Option A and option B. Uh, upvote the comment you want me uh, to put next um, into the team, which will be out on Tuesday. Other than that, there isn't really much I wanted to add into this episode. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure you drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you check out the other guys in the comment section, uh, in the description down below. And uh, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And I'll talk to you boys on next time. Peace out.